Welcome to the Vape Out Podcast. Today we have a Tugboat version 2 review and of course a lot of nonsense like we always do. Uh, also we have a special creation uh, from our our own very own Dan. He made it an awesome uh, project that he had to, to put together so tell us about that Dan. I decided to make a box mod and Ryan wanted me to make one specifically for him. <laughs> <laughs> and he gave me a box to use, which this box is... Which I found. Just a random box <laughs> that we decided to use. What, and what was the box from? <laughs> it, was, I, I, it was from uh, an iPhone case with a slide-out keyboard. So it was just a plastic electronics case that, like, <laughs> something would come in. So we have an iPhone <laughs> box case, plastic case, <laughs> which actually worked surprisingly well. Um, <clears throat> I... Decided to put this thing together as 26650s, and they're four 26650s in parallel, and we'll get a close up of that in a minute. Yep. Um, I used a 510 from an old ohm reader, <laughs> which surprising, you know, it works pretty dang well. Yeah. I, for it's, being, I, I'm scared a little bit of it. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much a junkyard mod. Well. Yeah, but it's it's nice. We <laughs> Radio Shack it, box. It fits four exactly. four of the twenty six six fifties. We uh, threw some in there. We threw we threw some eighteen six fifties in there just to test it out because I don't, I don't own any twenty six six fifties yet. So we threw four of the eighteen six fifties in there and fired it, and it works. It hits like a dream. It's amazing. Oh, I'm it like so excited about it. So you said parallel. As opposed to what's the other one? The series, series, right? Yes. What's the difference between those? Uh, the difference is parallel will give you longer battery life without increasing the voltage or the amperage, mm -hmm. and then series will increase amperage and voltage without increasing the battery life. So the battery life would stay the same as having one battery. But you have a lot more power per hit. Exactly. Um, also, all the wiring I did in here was handmade wiring, was solder and hot glue. Um, I made my own springs out, out of copper wire coaxial cable, uh, which worked really well, surprisingly. They look strong. Um, the battery or the the button we got from Radio Shack. <laughs> yeah. yeah. As well as the wiring so, and, and, and and LED and my my LED. fancy little ah, LED light. Ah. <clears throat> we'll do a close up quick. All right, let's do a Show close everybody. up on this. And I did sign it because they wanted me to sign it. Um, it looks it looks awesome though. I'm, it I'm, does. Yeah. I'm really excited for it. I can't wait to get some 26650s and just never have to recharge a battery again. <laughs> Next week we should have uh, some batteries, or hopefully, maybe. to vape it. I'm broke, man. No. Okay, so uh, maybe. In the future, we will have batteries to vape this thing. Maybe we'll get donated batteries. Oh. <laughs> Probably not. Probably not, but <laughs> we'll see. Wishful we'll see. thinking. Um, I think you did a great job. I think it looks amazing, and I honestly, I couldn't be happier with it. It's just... A monster. It's yeah. a monster. And, and it, that, you can see, I mean, when I hold it in my hand, it's huge. It's it's almost ridiculously huge, but I, I, I really like it's it. It's perfect that, for you. That positive contact, though. Oh, my is God. Absolutely, it's absolutely... My, oh, yeah. my copper plate that I had to cut <laughs> off. and then How thick is that? Like it's, uh, an eighth, eighth of an inch? inch? Yeah, Gosh. eighth inch copper plate. <laughs> um, I actually had to cut a divot for the wire down the middle of it. How's that? It was a pain. <laughs> what did you use? Um, his teeth. What is a router? <laughs> yeah, the a baby uh, router or something. No, the air router. What's a okay. baby router? I don't know. Well, routers in my mind are you know two handles and well, brr, a baby brr, router would be a Dremel. What I used to uh, it was an air Dremel is what it was. Uh, with, yeah. What is one of the diamond blade? Okay, circular blades. I can't. On it. I just. I can't really see something like on a hardware shelf baby Dremel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just, it's not a scientific By name. By Gerber. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Sears. Hey, has babies want to learn how to use tools too. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I, I put an a eighth inch the copper plate in there, so the positive is super strong. Um, all together, what, what do you guys think of that as a total like setup? For being a Radio Shack box or a junkyard box, however you want to call it, I think it's pretty amazing. I'm um, calling it junkyard box because I mean the thing was literally parts that we had laying around, and what, then what whatever else we were missing, that? we got from. Radio Shack or Home Depot. <laughs> what did it cost you to build that? <clears throat> um, all in all, with the button and everything like that, all those parts, the electronics at least, it's like 25 bucks. And I think Donovan got the, the plating. Yeah, he, he Donovan got, got the plating. She <clears throat> probably five times the size of that, and it cost him like five bucks, I think. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the batteries are going to be more expensive than the yep, mod. <laughs> by far. I honestly think this thing is badass. Like, I love it. 
I know my ghetto vaping with Gary thing has some little quirky stuff in it, but my God. <laughs> well, I, I took some tips from you. I saw that. <laughs> I appreciate you using those. I really do. Those copper springs, though. I yeah. know. My God, those actually look a lot better than anything I've ever made copper springs. I don't know. The one you made me is pretty awesome. It looks really clean. Well, I'm glad you like it. Aww. Aww. <laughs> By the way, if you're wondering why we have cupcakes on the table. Because cupcakes are delicious. Because cupcakes are delicious. It uh, doesn't have to be explained. Yeah, that's true. We have cupcakes. Don't judge us. And I, 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 now you I can never, explain it, though. I never thought this was possible, but they're caramel apple cupcakes, and they're amazing. Oh, my God, I know. I, I didn't know you could do that. So uh, you can explain why. Why, why, do, why do we have... Or did you want uh, to? Or did well, my, my wife was going to be going to like a party or something like that for her friends and made some cupcakes, and it ended up not happening, so I just brought them here. And now we get to eat them. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So thank you very much, <clears throat> Charlotte, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Making sure I got the name right. That was I, pretty funny. Wait, what, when, uh, wait, what's her name again? Well, we were in here the other day. <laughs> And uh, she had asked him, do you know what my name is? Yeah, she's like, do you and even know what my got, name is? He got so awkward so quick because you could tell in his mind he was instantly like, oh, God, no girl ever wants to hear that that you, that you don't know their name. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't care. But the funny part was how, like, awkward you got about was... it. You're like, oh, wait, I know this. I know this. Oh, oh, God. Does it start with an A? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, does it start with a B? And it's, and we'll they, we'll they get this by process of elimination. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Second letter A? No. But I, I think I honestly never said her name. I usually just say my wife. Very, yeah. very possible. <laughs> so now I know her name. Anyway, uh, good story. <laughs> cool story, bro. Yeah. We can probably uh, go into my review. <laughs> mm. It's on... I don't mm, want to. Mm -mm. Okay, never mind. <laughs> We're not doing a review this episode. Um, so I'll say it at the end. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, it's the Tugboat V2, which I absolutely adore. Uh, this thing is amazing. It has stainless steel construction. It's 22 millimeters diameter, uh, three post design, pretty common in a lot of atomizers. Um, it's, it's what I prefer most of the time. Copper center pin. Uh, it has a ridiculous drip well. I mean, absolutely insane. It's, I mean, it's the same as the, the version ones, but still, they, <clears throat> you, you really can't improve that without getting ridiculous. Um, it's the version <clears throat> one. Right, the version but I, I believe they do have the same, the same Drip well, well but meant to flawless. Oh, yeah, yeah. it also two. has a, a flush mounted cap with a tugboat engraving and American flag engraving. I do have something to add to that later, but I'll, I will mention that. Um, large dual adjustable air holes, so you can actually take your top cap and spin it. Yeah, take your top off. <laughs> <laughs> so you can uh, go to one airflow hole, two airflow holes, one and a half. It, it's really, really fun to mess with. It, um, I just had an epiphany. That it's always best to have two holes. This cupcake is delicious. <laughs> it's pretty good. It does have a serialized drip tip. I should put that on here for the review. I'm just so used to my wide board drip tip from our shop that I, I, it's hard for me to vape with anything else. But the drip tip is still very nice. But yeah, it's serialized drip tip uh, with the Tugboat V2 engraving. It comes in uh, five different editions, basically. There's polished, there's media blasted, and brushed. Media blasted is basically in between polished and brushed. And then there's the Cali edition and the ECC edition. Um, the special edition runs uh, replace, flag, replace the flag with a different logo based on the style. So the Cali edition has the state of California. The ECC, I never saw one, but I, I mean. I think they just have ECC 2014 on okay, it. Okay, just, I yeah. did see one, yeah. So pretty neat, though. Um, so along with, with the logos, it does have the version 2 tugboat logo right there, which is awesome. Very cool logo. Um, it is supposed to have the American flag logo, but mine does not. Now, through an adventure that we took uh, <laughs> last weekend, we, we were going to go down to Vapor Lounge, I believe, just to check mm -hmm. it out. And it was a Sunday. I didn't think twice to, I didn't think once to, to look and see if they were open. And as we we're pulling up, I, I, I thought, man, I, I really hope they're open. They weren't. But luckily, the Flawless Vape Shop was open, so we went down to that at Rancho. Uh, very amazing shop, really nice staff. Uh, I talked to, I think they had a new builder that was there. He was really yeah. cool, um, who actually gave Gary a tip, which we might bring up in later yeah. Ghetto Vaping with Gary segments, so that, that'll be a, a secret <laughs> until then. Um, and then I actually asked the, I, I'm guessing she was a manager, I'm not 100% sure, but I asked her about my tugboat, and I just was curious about the one logo. I didn't know if it was... It's supposed to be that way or what? And uh, she called her boss, which I'm, I'm assuming was the person who made the tugboats. I'm not 100% on that, but 
He said, to his knowledge, none got ordered with just the one logo. Um, he said, <clears throat> local vape where I got it through may have ordered some that way, but to his knowledge, that didn't happen. So I very well possibly have a, a one of a kind Tugboat V2, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, <clears throat> but on to my likes and dislikes. Um, I love the adjustable airflow. I did play with it a little bit. Uh, depending on what build I had, I, I switched it around to, to get different flavors and such. Um, it's got a removal, removable airflow cap, which is awesome. I've had that on a lot of my atomizers, and it's very nice, really easy to drip in if you don't have a, a wide board drip tip. Um, the flavor on this thing is, it's not quite as good as the version one tugboat, but it is very good. Um, it, it beats the crap out of my, I think I had the, the Crest cap and the IgoW5 before that, it, it beats that up. Um, and the Doge, the Doge, had, the Doge just has so much airflow that. There's no flavor. <laughs> there's, there's a little flavor, there's but flavor. it's. It's just not... Nothing compared to the yeah. Tugboat V2. Um, one thing I really do like about this is it has a, a setting for a single coil. Um, so you, here's the dual, you know, the one and the one on both sides. Hopefully you can see it like that. But it also has just the single single airflow. So you can do your single coils for box mods. Um, that's mainly the only reason I run them on. Some people run them on their mech mods, but... Because you can get just ridiculous clouds with uh, the, the single coils on a regulated box mod. Um, and of course, the huge drip well is amazing. I can, you know, depending on what, what bottle I'm using, what dripper it is, I mean, I can put 8 to 12 drips in there pretty easy. So, I mean, I can vape on it quite a while before I have to redo that. The only really thing that I could think that I didn't like about it was the long 510 connection. Um, as you can see, it doesn't quite fit flush on my AR. Um, there's a little gap there. It kind of bugs me, but I've gotten over it. Um, but it, that does cause Have a problem. You really? With, <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> but it does cause problems with a, with a lot of different mods. Like I know the four nine, for instance. I mean, as soon as you put it on the four nine, it would fire. Um, that's the only one off the top of my head that I know. I've, I've tried to fit it on and such. But other than that, I mean, amazing atomizer. Um, I think on this, I'd probably rate it a nine out of ten. And the only reason it's not getting a ten, I know we rate a lot of things really high in here, but it's because a lot of the products we review, we've really liked, and we decided. Yeah, to we do. we mostly do reviews yep. on products that we we absolutely love and we want to talk about. Yep, and we want to share so other people can get them and, and share our you know our joy. Negativity for them. is never good to talk about. No. no, but sometimes if you have a product that just needs to be talked about, you know, we'll, we'll probably have some of those in the future. Um, but yeah, so nine out of ten, strictly because of that five ten connection, because you can't fit it on every atomizer. And they said that's how it's you know that's just what they do. That's how they made them. I'm not sure why. They made them that long, but it's it's kind of annoying. But other than that, absolutely amazing. I, you know, I love you know the Tumble V2. You know why? Why? Because Atomizer. <laughs> because Atomizer. Atomizer. <clears throat> um, I did want to mention something about the Doge that I, I... It's all hearsay right now for me because I don't know if it's true or not, but um, I have a, a single coil setup for my airflow, and apparently... For the new versions of the Doge, they're taking the single coil airflow out. Why? I don't know. They didn't say. It just it mentioned on Congregate that they were <clears throat> removing the single coil setup. And I was kind of like, why would you want to take that out when yeah, it doesn't seem like it's a nice feature to have? Mm -hmm. hmm. I know weird. I kind of interrupted you there, but it reminded me of that. I don't, I don't understand that. I, I love atomizers that have two settings, you know, can do dual coil or single coil. Yeah, I kind of like the idea. It's different, mm -hmm. yep. you know, and a lot more people nowadays are using box mods and using their DNA devices. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't really need dual coils. The higher that wouldn't coil... matter as much, for instance, because you can no, still build your, yeah. your yeah, dual you, coils just because as fine. it hits like a truck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, one thing I did want to add, I, I kind of forgot, with the the stock tugboat tip, the flavor is much better. I, it ju I just hit it a second ago, and it just re reminded me that, I mean, you know, when you have a, a tip like this. The airflow definitely changes, and you don't get as much flavor with that with that uh, increased airflow. Um, do you guys have any questions about it? Or? <laughs> no. I was just gonna mention my tugboat flavor killer. <laughs> kills the you're, flavor, but you're man. dirty. It also kills the tugboat. <laughs> yeah, you should not put that kill on the tugboat. Kill my tugboat. <clears throat> um, does anyone have any questions about the tugboat at all? Any anything they want to reflect on? How would it compare? <laughs> to Flawless the... vape. If you see this and you're offended by it, let me know. Because <laughs> we, we are too. Because we Please. Are. <laughs> Um, how would it compare to like some of the other flavor atomizers, like the like the Vulcan maybe? 
I vaped the Vulcan for a very. I know you didn't very, have a good experience with it. So. My mod was was malfunctioning when I had the, the Vulcan on there, so I just wasn't happy with the Vulcan. And to be honest, I, it's been a, probably about a month since I've tried it, and I, I haven't gone back to it. So I I don't know um, that much um, about the Vulcan. I haven't given it a thorough rundown. A, right. Um, <clears throat> so as to that, I can't really say. I do know, like I said, it's not quite as flavorful as the Tugboat V1, but with that stock drip tip, it is very close. And you do have the second airflow on this as opposed to just the one airflow hole on the, the Tugboat, which is really nice. Oh, I nice. didn't even notice that. Really? It's two instead of one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, I love it. Um, plenty of airflow. I don't need to drill it out. Usually I, I you know, drill my caps out so I can get that more airflow. I think but. a lot of atomizers are start, starting to do that now is that, because uh, <clears throat> when atomizers were first coming out and dripping was getting really big like, like they the were all w very very small holes mm -hmm. and i think it's because they were I, I don't know it seemed like they were worried like they, they didn't want to encourage people to cloud chase whereas now it seems like they kind of just went you know what everyone's cloud chasing you just give them what they want everybody's right? drilling out anyway <clears throat> yeah. so might as well just like, do it the igo w was literally smaller than a 130 second oh my god careful, i'm pretty sure no it was you, you draw it one sixty fourth, i believe and it's so had hot it. if you put a normal build on there and you hit it i mean it, it you almost can't vape it yeah yeah when I got my first, I got a, my first atomizer was a Patriot, and it has pretty close, and it was a clone Patriot, it had pretty close to the same size airflow, and I had to drill that out. I don't know why I they started that get slow. A hit off of it. I'm glad they finally stepped it up and yeah, realized what the customer wants and just started doing it. And I like how they went to 22 millimeters, because this thing, it just gets ridiculously hot, and it just, it's so tight in there, it's ridiculous. That's why you made that awesome the Patriot clone, just yeah. to... Patriot clone, IGO yeah. W, whatever you want to call it. Is it a Patriot clone or is it? It's an it's an IGO W with a Patriot, with, with top, a Patriot cap? clone top cap. That's Pretty why soon, I, Gary's gonna learn how to just make his own atomizer yeah. and stuff he finds in his garage. Tin foil and <laughs> <laughs> aluminum. Yeah, You're like that'll work as a positive. <laughs> he just takes really thick copper wire and drills a hole through it for the, for the center post. <laughs> drills a hole through it. Every time I see that, it's it looks got one like of those it gets drywall more and more beat up. Top. I don't know how. I haven't done anything to it. I rarely use this Addy. I'm always are using you, my tugboat. Are you putting it with your rock sand? paper um no your one grit my one grit sandpaper and it was double zero <laughs> but no i just never use this thing i've had such a good time with the tugboat i don't really have time to use you this a good thing time anymore. with the tugboat i did have Me a too. wonderful i'm having a wonderful time with this tugboat if i ever have to buy another authentic addy it'll be another tugboat i don't think i would yeah. want to buy anything else yeah, other they're, than they're really tugboat. good and i mean on top of that to back it up it's got an You're excellent right? company no. behind it flawless <laughs> is always far far exceeded my expectations as far as customer service goes they're they're really great yeah. um and i mean they really do listen to the customer like the the version two has everything that you would want <clears throat> and that you would ask for after using the the tugboat v1 yeah they took a lot of cons time, time and consideration into making the customers happy i completely <clears throat> agree with that because i could see this being a great single coil addy mm -hmm. but with the restrictions and of it, it was for a while when i broke it yeah <laughs> <laughs> It's still they, do duels on it. Yeah, just, just gotta put them in the same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just yeah. use the same two posts. <laughs> Did I mention that I broke my Doge? I was about to bring up like, why are you on a single coil build? Dude? I'm not on a single <clears throat> coil build actually. So, I improvised. So, so you broke your Doge and <laughs> I did. Um, you you tried contacting them right? Or no, you didn't try contacting them right away. I didn't right away because we'll cut. <sighs> are you serious? Welcome back to the Vape Out Podcast. We just had a very interesting scenario go down. Um, you, you heard the bang on the door. So the, the shop is located <laughs> right next to a bar. Uh, occasionally we get you know people that will come over, knock on the door. Usually not knock, but they'll peer in, see if we're open, things like that. Because we are in here after hours, so it almost looks like the shop's open. We had a guy bang on the door and uh, thought this was a tattoo shop. Which and, is next door. Which is next door. <clears throat> And he was getting pretty agitated about the fact that we weren't going to give him a tattoo. <laughs> yeah. And he was he was damn near close to blackout drunk. So he's he's came in before. It, has he? And, yeah, yeah. Oh he, man. He asked. He, he says, "Can I just sit down? Can I? I just want to sit down for a little bit because yeah. they wouldn't let me sit down over there." And we let him. We let him because we were open and we. I mean, it was sketchy though. We had, I was we had to get him. He started talking about political <laughs> stuff last time he was in here. Well, yeah. he was. Yeah, he was certainly <clears throat> getting kind of agitated. And well, yeah, I, I asked he, him to leave, and then I. After he wouldn't leave, I, or, I don't know if I asked him to leave right away, but I asked him to back up politely. And I said, can you please back up? And he said, why? And I said, because, I, because I'm telling you. And I'm, or, because yeah. I'm asking you. Because I'm telling because you, and then I said, I'm asking yeah, you nicely. He got, he got kind of irritated at that. 
Um, I, I used to work as a, as a server at a restaurant, so I'm used to dealing with drunk people like that. There's a certain way you have to go about it, and I have experience there. Kevin does not. <laughs> nor, we almost, nor do I. We almost had a fight break out in the front of the store. For <laughs> well, yeah, I, was, I, I was able to defuse it, though. Just a, After I asked him to back up, and he said that. Guy. Yeah, he was getting irritated. I said, or he said, what are you going to do about it? And then I think at that point... Uh, Ryan came in and saved the yeah. day. We, we should bring him on the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. sit down. <clears throat> Random drunk guy, come sit down with us. He'll just drunk. pass out and slam the table. Yeah. <laughs> He's probably asking us for a tattoo over. the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to be like, sure, we can bust out a pen and give you a jail tat. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> Just hit, just press really hard with a pen. He'll, he'll not. He won't know the difference. <laughs> nope. He didn't have a tattoo on his whole body, and he's like, "Oh, a tattoo." <laughs> and right, he told dude. us what we wanted, even though we told him four times that we weren't a, a tattoo shop. You just gotta listen to him rant, <clears throat> and was, then it was pretty coaxing away. He was very good at that. He's just like, "Well, oh, yeah, hey, thanks very much, or thanks, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, my name's Ryan. I uh, honestly we have thought to get back he was to work. swing at you." Yeah, I thought those two. I was starting to get a little. Uh, I was ready. If you if you would have, I at least would have well, yeah, dodged it. I'm pretty that sure that never ends well. Mm. I mean, but it would have been we, fun. But then then we would have had well. to do the rest of the podcast with you and like maybe a bloody. That nose. would have been an awesome <laughs> that story. That would have been funny is if we came back on and Kevin's got a fat black eye. <laughs> You should see the other guy. <laughs> right. um, so what we were talking about before that that, that happened was uh, Dan, your doge what? broke. Your doge broke. You My doge broke. Broke your doge. We told you to contact him. You didn't contact him right away. Correct. And, and, and it took probably about three days for me to contact him. Didn't just we have, to get a hold? We, of we him. had a podcast though before that was going to happen, or before you contacted them, right? I think so. Yeah. And you kind of wanted to say something about it and mention it, but we we advised you wait. hold on, yeah. talk to the distributor, the manufacturer first, right? And and um, it's been I want to say about a week and a half now, and I haven't heard anything back from them, which is disappointing. But what did they tell you to start with? Um, but they did tell me that they were going to send me a new one, and they didn't say whether or not I need to send the old one in or what's going on with that. But they pretty much like the letter said we're gonna send you a new one that's it cool but um what so happened was is i ended up stripping one of my negative posts and the screw uh, or the post the post okay yeah because i have a spare screw and it so um i decided to improvise if i can get the thing off and put two coils on two posts basically i'm still shaking huh. yeah you gotta do what you gotta do. That'll work. I mean, that's what I did because I, I did the same thing with They're the tugboat messy. before I had it sent in and fixed. That's not bad for doing the same posts. <laughs> yeah, you do that with the tugboat and, and the tow. <clears throat> and the tow. <laughs> I seem to strip my atomizers. I'm just so, working out way too much. Ryan, strong. Hopefully, I hear something back from them <laughs> soon. I mean, I don't want to be disappointed, but we're, I'm we're not being exactly up. getting my hopes up right now. Well, I'm being optimistic for him. I have faith that they'll they'll pull through. They're, I mean. A, an authentic distributor or manufacturer, I mean, they have no, you know, they want to keep everybody happy. I mean, everybody knows bad news, you know, you tell 10 people, good news, you tell one one or two people. So yeah. they're probably going to resolve it. So hopefully we'll have an update for you that in the future, and, and hopefully Dan has a good experience with that. Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. talk about it on the next podcast next week and uh, see, see where it is there. See what happens, yeah. Pressure's on, Congravate. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll have to share this to them. Yeah, yeah, we absolutely. should. That'd be awesome. Send it to him. <laughs> absolutely. Hi. Um, hi, Kanga Vape. Um, so, were you guys ever in like any like cliques in school? Would you ever consider yourself mm -hmm. as like part of a clique? Pause really quick. I just remember. I, know, I think I said it during the review, but I do want to say the Tugboat V2 is made by Flawless Vapes. I'm, I'm pretty sure I kind of covered that, but I it just crossed my mind. What? Anyway. No way. <laughs> really? <laughs> Who is it made by? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so were we a part of any cliques? Yeah, were you guys ever part of a clique? Yeah. I mean, everyone Gary was. Says, yeah, right, right away. What, what clique were you a part yeah, of? Like, what, what clique were you a part of? I mean, I'm guessing Gary was like. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> He's part of the pedo. The first group? three, no, the first two years of high school when I was actually going to a physical high school, I was part of the stoner clique. I mean, that's just who I used to hang out with. They were my friends, I guess you can say. Acquaintances? Dealers. No. The other way around. Yeah. But, um, no. <laughs> now everyone knows. Allegedly. And then, yeah, allegedly. In 11th grade, I was going to homeschool, so there, I really didn't have any clicks or anything like that. But then okay. when I came back to high school, I was just hanging out with, like, the video game nerds and stuff like that. They seemed like better people to hang around, and Wait. it didn't really affect my grades at all either, either way. Are you saying we're less people? 
Because we're video game nerds? No. Dan, what about you? <laughs> I didn't really have, like, a group that I hung out with. I was kind of like the lone wolf type I could, person. I could see Dan eating lunch by himself every day. Oh. I wasn't by myself. Oh. I just didn't Why have, like... Well, by his choice, though. I didn't like, have, I could like, see Dan doing that, and, like, as he's, like, eating his sandwich, he's like... <laughs> like, like, so, just, like someone like eating with a PB and J in straight angers. You know what somebody told me once? They told me that I was the uh, the kid that they thought was gonna bring guns to school. You do. Oh, you shit. do look like the secret like, angry person. What the fuck? Because uh, uh, really, <laughs> this is happening. I don't know. No, no, no! <laughs> Help! Oh my god! That was crushed by Rip, rip. <laughs> Stop um, reading if you will. Um, what about you, Kevin? I was in the. The, the middle tier, I guess. We had, you know, seven or eight of us that, I mean, we weren't part of the popular... You know, a lot of us knew the popular kids and, you know... Kind of like jockey in the middle, like... Yeah. We, yeah. we weren't the goths or the emos or yeah, the stoners. It was kinda, just... Kind of where I feel like I fit, too. Like, I, I wasn't by any means, like, the popular kid or anything like that. But uh, I was definitely a jock in high school, as nerdy as I am. Which was funny, because, like, I was totally able to keep that under wraps. <laughs> the nerdiness? I, I straight up played uh, Magic the Gathering... And World of Warcraft. Dungeons and Dragons. I hadn't, but I always wanted to. <laughs> Same here. I want to play D&D so bad. It's a lot of fun. I, I but, kind uh, of want to, too, I've as bad as that Dungeons sounds. Dude, it's so much fun. But, so we're going to play Dungeons and like, Dragons was, in the next episode, and Dan's going to be I the dungeon, dungeon master. master. <laughs> I was so painfully nerdy, and I was able to keep that real nice and quiet because I was pretty decent at sports. So everyone. So you were in the closet. Basically, I was, a, I was a closet monster. nerd. Yeah. <laughs> what? Sponge monster. Yeah, I tackled level thirty-seven. I don't know level anything. Level forty-five, about that. Sponge Monster. If you know what that is, comment. Yeah, because we nobody don't. knows what that is. I and like, follow, subscribe. I have no idea what a Sponge Monster is. <laughs> is that like SpongeBob's uncle? Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I I don't know. Like I because I never really saw myself as like getting bullied, and like even the bullies that we had in school, like. It, I, I feel like the way you see it on TV is portrayed in like so much worse than it actually yeah, is. Yeah, it also like, is. I'm, a I'm lot sure that different it, now. I'm sure that it does get bad in some places, but like there's some stuff that I see on TV, especially like like teen shows and like like Disney shows where the bully does like some heinous, terrible stuff. And like even looking at that, like dude, the bullies in my school would never do something that mean. That's just outright evil. Now, now I understand why everybody left me alone. <laughs> you've been were, saying it in that voice Dan were you the sponge monster <laughs> I guess no I mean bullies you know, are not as bad as they were I used to trip people out on purpose cause I would bring like gun magazines to school just to fuck with people <laughs> oh my god Dan <laughs> and then like I did we had a speech class and I, I brought uh, uh, I asked my teacher if I could bring my bow and arrow in. I thought you were going to say like AR-15 or something. Oh my god. You, okay. <laughs> Anyways, I asked my teacher if I could do a speech on my bow and arrow. So and she was like, like, yeah, as long as it's unstrung and you don't have any tips on your arrows or anything. And so you just pretty much like knew what people thought of you yeah. and just played it up. Yeah. That's awesome. But like, I, I don't know. Did you, ever, did you ever get bullied? Like, I got bullied when I was... I'm probably a freshman, because when I was a freshman, I was really little. I was pretty skinny and pretty short. I got real big real fast about sophomore, junior year. But when I was a freshman, I, I did get teased and I got bullied. I mean, I never got really, I never really got beat up. Like, I never, like, I never went home bloody, basically. You know, I would gotten in fights and things like that, but I don't know. Just the way they portray bullies just makes it seem so much worse than I've ever they're, experienced. They're overreacting on it entirely. I'm I sure mean, there are some situations. That... Oh, no doubt. There yeah. are definitely some really bad kids out there. There's some mean bullies. Yeah, but there's some mean little they make, out there. The way they make it seem is like <laughs> that's every bully. Is like they will right. they will send you home bloody every day. I'm, I was thinking about it because uh, I, I watched the pilot episode of American Horror Story. Oh, man. You ever seen that? Yes. Mm-hmm. I, I watched the pilot episode, and I have no idea what's going on on that show, so I'm not going to watch it anymore. But <laughs> in the pilot episode, like, the, the, the daughter of the family shows up to school with a cigarette, and the popular, like, pretty girl in school freaks out on her because her aunt died of lung cancer or something and tries to make that girl eat the cigarette and, like, gets in a fight with her, like, pushing her face mm-hmm. on the ground and everything. And it's like... That's bizarre. Like, no girl would ever do that. I've never met a girl that would be like, eat the cigarette, whore. Um, <laughs> nowadays, it's Harsh. more girls that are actually bullies to each other. I mean... Yeah, but that's like psychological shit. That's way worse. I mean, when I was going to middle <laughs> mean school... Mean Girls? Like, 6th and 7th grade. Did you watch Mean Girls? No. There's Don't a movie. Mind. 
It's not a TV show. See, you know more than I do already. You make it sound like, a, like <laughs> are you subscribed to Mean Girls? No. No, I've it's never on, seen it. It's yes. on your, it's on your I've heard uh, Michelle... One of our, yeah, one sure. of our helpers talking I about. heard about this movie. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, I, I would. His phone just I, would I would. No, here. Let, let it's me on your way. Netflix picks. I listen. I listened to uh, <laughs> is it Aqua, the band, the Barbie song. I listened to them when I was younger. I'll admit that, but no, I never watched Mean Girls. I mean, I, so you're a Barbie girl. I never like in a Barbie world. I was. I can't say that I ever actively sought out to listen to that song, but and I heard it before. Spice Girls. You're lying. No, I you listen to Spice, Spice Girls. Girls. Yeah. Which one was your favorite? The, which Spice? I have no idea which one is which. Don't lie. No, you, I don't. Everyone had no, their favorite. No, no. I didn't even like them. I could I pick it, If I had a picture, I could pick it out, but I, I have no idea what their name is. Was it Scary Spice? It was baby. <laughs> no, it was Baby Spice. Uh, <laughs> see, I didn't even know those two. I know Posh. Posh was the... Mm. I think that's the only one I know, to be honest. Posh Spice. Mm. You said Baby Spice. Scary Spice. I only know the names. I don't even know who they are. I don't know the other one. <clears throat> No, I wouldn't lie about that. I'm, I, I'll tell you straight up. Okay. I mean, yeah, so, I used to get picked on in sixth and seventh grade, which, whatever, you know, kids would be like, oh, I don't up, like Harry. you. And, you know. <laughs> well, because, yeah, like you said, you went to a home school and then came back. No, right? this was ele- our middle school. Middle school, I went to an actual school. It was sixth and seventh grade, I got picked on. You either liked me or you hated me. That's basically how it was with me. I was so neutral in middle school. You either liked me or hated me. So then eighth grade came and we moved out to out- Victorville. And oh. I had no problem making friends. And then from then on, I never really had any bullies, I guess. I had people that hated me and wanted to kill me, but... I mean, I had that you know. too, but that's just because I'm a dick. Yeah. I was usually the kid that no one really... Like, you either you liked me or you tolerated me. That was it in, the, in high school. You liked me or you tolerated me. <clears throat> okay, so Weak. the Spice Girls thing, I hated Spice Girls. <laughs> Mainly because I have two younger sisters. If and they played it all the freaking time. <laughs> that makes sense. I only had an older brother. It drove me insane. That and Britney Spears. Which, by the way, Donovan posted a picture of him and his brother today. Is his brother taller than him? Yeah. Is that his little brother? No. Uh, older brother. He's t- taller by like a couple inches, I think. Which he, seems unreal. Did but he yeah, do he's... that thing with his beard on purpose? I have no idea. I didn't pay that much attention to it. Pretty scraggly looking. Donovan's or his brothers? brothers. brothers. (laughs) Got to work on that beard, bro. (laughs) (laughs) I had a little something to bring up. Uh, Any uh, new games coming out soon that you guys are, you know, hyped up about? I want to play Destiny so bad. The new Call of Duty looks pretty awesome. It does, but it looks like a rehash. Hold on, let me play the same Call of Duty over and over again. Right? It's the same game, basically. What about you, Super Smash Brothers. The that's Wii U. Our, that's, that's that's our, yeah, there's a new one coming out. No, the Wii U one's not out yet. There's a new one coming out. It's only on 3DS. Shut up, Kevin! The Wii U one's coming out soon. There's already. Uh, it's, there's a new I one. I played it on 3DS. And it's, <laughs> What's it called? I mean, it's I legit. Know. There's one. I, I've been checking on Twitch, and there's people playing a new Super Smash Bros. They're yeah, probably they're demos playing on uh, 3DS. Yeah, so it's, it's already out. On the 3DS, 3DS version, not the Wii U not version. Not Wii U. It's way better on Wii U. The only thing anyway. I've really got my uh, eyes on right now is The Evil Within. That game looks very promising. You and your scary games. I <laughs> love playing horror games. This is a newfound genre that I actually like. If it's you hard for them to do it right, a, though. Well, scary I mean, video game to mention for Gary, please don't. He's looking one to Don't I, say I believe. Friday Night at Fre- Freddy's because we've already done that. Don't yeah. say Five Nights at Freddy's. Don't say Outlast. Don't say Amnesia. And don't say Slender the Arrival because I've already played all I believe. Slender games aren't even scary. Slender the Arrival was scary to a point because it was like a five chapter game and chapter believe? two was scary because you're in like this big I facility believe, believe. and this, you got Slender Man chasing you and you got this weird hooded girl thing demon chasing after you Slender which makes it that much harder is it a girl a thing or a demon I don't know it's, it's, it's a, girl, a mix of all three thing. Suck your girl thing demon girl demon thing Suck girl five nights at girl thing demon the only I'm problem I have with that game is men bear pig oh and do not recommend me dead space I have already been playing it and I am dissatisfied forget recommending anything to Gary because he doesn't want to play anything no I believe he quote unquote he's looking for a game to quote unquote make him shit his pants yes I'm and I'm trying to find that game and the evil within looks very promising Dead Space, I was told, oh, it's so scary. I saw the reviews and people said, oh, it's terrifying. Bull. That was the least scariest game I've ever played. Dead Space there's no, wasn't that scary. There's no tension because I can shoot the things that are chasing after me. the second one and the third one yet? I'm still working on the first one. Though I did play a little bit of am- Amnesia. That was pretty creepy. Amnesia, it gets you on a weird like psychological level because it yeah. really, especially if you have headphones on, it really like messes with what's going on through I don't your know. I don't, I'm not really entirely a fan of, of games that you that can't... Leads, attack something. That's what I like about horror yeah. games is when you oh. can't do anything about it. I like yeah, that, that vulnerable that, feeling that you that get always, when you're playing these that games. That always it more... Gets, it, didn't really, it didn't really suspend me or scare me. It, it more kind of irritated me. That I couldn't do anything because it just felt like, alright, well now I'm just following this 
path of this story of what I'm supposed to do. I can't change it. Like, it, it just... I didn't like it. I didn't like being in control of it. But well, don't get what me I will say is the scaredest I've ever been in a video game actually Shit. happened in uh, Fallout 3. Really? Mm -hmm. Fallout? It was when the the Colossus broke through the buildings. Oh, wow. You guys remember, <clears throat> did you guys ever play Fallout 3? Did mm -hmm. you shoot your pants? Oh, yeah. Literally? No. Uh, but, um, metaphorically. Like, I, that was the first time a video game ever made me, like, scream in fright. Just in the middle of my room, late at night, just playing. All of a sudden, a Colossus, which is like this gigantic 20-story tall mutant, comes crashing through a building. And I just, <laughs> Everything you had, just guns, rockets, everything. Throw everything. I'm like throwing rocks at this thing. It'd be better if you shoot the you rockets. I remember that because that scared the crap out of me, too. That legitimately <laughs> terrified me when that happened. That's like a kind of feeling that, like... I don't really find in video games anymore. Because like you weren't expecting just, it. Yeah, it's just something that they don't make any reference to, nothing like that, and then suddenly, you're going to die. Yeah, <laughs> It's kind of like with Outlast. It got stale really freaking quick. I yeah. mean, I played Outlast and Whistleblower, which pretty much made the whole series three hours long. And after playing like 20 minutes of the first one, I, it got stale quick, so I was expecting it. But then there were parts that just got me off guard and I wasn't expecting, especially in Whistleblower, which actually was a lot scarier than the original because there was a lot more, uh, I guess, brutal stuff in it. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it really put me on edge for a little bit there, but then once again, it got stale, and then I just went about the game going, ha, ah, you suck, eh. Flying by all he, these He had me things. watch a couple out, or, uh, of those videos of that game, and it, it is pretty creepy from, from seeing it, but uh, we could talk about video games all day. Yeah, do we you want to add something? Games. No, I'm good. Okay, yeah, we, we could add, that I mean, we, we could talk forever, yeah, that'd oh. be... <laughs> Um, so, but we gotta end it. We're trying to keep it about thirty. I think it's we're probably pushing like forty minutes now. So, apologize for that. But uh, we do appreciate you guys for turning it, turning in, <laughs> as, as you'll see on some of our outtakes if we ever post those. Um, <clears throat> but thank you for tuning in to our show. We really appreciate it, guys. And, uh, are we coming out with vaping one hundred and one? I think we're yeah. We're gonna start posting our vaping one hundred and one videos. Keep an eye out for um, that. We'll probably we're not sure how many we're gonna post we'll how often, one but week. one one a week. Okay, so. We'll just we'll keep that going. Uh, really short videos just to give you some tips and tricks on on vape. Right, right now it's just basic information. Info. Yeah, but. we're gonna get more in depth the further along we go. But uh, as it stands, we're just doing the basics. When when someone walks into a shop for the first time and they say, "I don't know anything about vaping. I'm still a cigarette smoker. What is this?" That's the kind of stuff we're covering for the start of it. As it goes, we're gonna get more into how to build, how to do different things, um, what you should be looking out for as far as mods and and atomizers and juice and things like that. But for right now, just basics. And uh, <clears throat> another thing that I want to do is we're also going to do bios. I want to sit down with each of the guys in the Maybe. podcast. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and uh, get a quick backstory, and we'll post that, just because I, I feel like I'd like the community to know a little bit more about us. So, again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe. Um, share that, too. Get it out there so we can get some more viewers, so we can actually get this thing going big and uh, you know, make it better for you guys, too. Um, so until next time, Vapor's going to vape.